Yo, 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 people, welcome back to the hardware review, and we are back with Upends. Yes, we're taking a look at the Up Ox. There's going to be a lot of ups in this. The last time we did anything for Upends was the Up Pen. Now, they brought out the new Up Pen Plus kit. I will be doing that this week at some point. But today, we are taking a look at the Up Ox. We got it out there, we got it out there. Yes, it is another pod kit. Inbuilt 400 mile battery made out of aerospace aluminium. We're going space age, people. So I'll tell you what, we're going to do things a little bit different. We're going to take the. Do we go and take? We're going to take. <laughs> we're going to take things down low. <laughs> so the Up Ox from Up Ends. Yes, very simple to say. Now, the reason why it's called the Up Ox is because it is the year of the Ox, the Chinese New Year. And it is of the Ox. So you've got a picture of an Ox. Or pens, you've got the pod system, that lovely warning, yes. Then it tells you all the stuff, like what the pod's made out of, what the cotton, easy filling, etc. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. You've got all that good stuff of your don't vape in a bin, your kite marks and all your warnings. And it tells you this one is the devil black. Yes, it's the devil black. Now, the reason why we haven't done this is the box. That's what you get in the box and all that sort of stuff. is because I wanted to show you on the back of the box. Obviously, it tells you it is the Upox kit. And what's included in the packaging. Now, if you just look here where it says pods, it ticks times one or times two. Obviously, this is the one with only one pod. So you can get this kit with either one pod or two pods. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So you open it up. This is what it looks like. You do get your user manual. And this is what it looks like. So you've got your pod. You've got your Type-C charge uh Type-C charging cable, can't talk today, Aiden. And then you have got your mod itself. So in this kit, you only get one pod. I would really like to have seen them go away with doing the one pod kits and doing every kit with two pods. Because if somebody's coming off them stinkies and not used to this sort of device, and this is perfect for somebody coming off the stinkies, then they don't fill it up and they don't leave it long enough and they burn that pod out, they've got nothing else to go back to. So I would get away with doing the, the kits with just one pod and I would just make sure that you do put that extra pod in there. If it's to do with price, then stick an extra pound on it. I'd rather have two pods than one pod actually in there. You've got your Type-C charging cable in there and obviously you've got the, pod, uh, the mod itself. I did get sent two of these. So that is the silver one and the black one. It does come in other colours, but I'll show you them when we go up top. Right, let's start off with the pod itself. It is a 2mm pod. It's that dark and plastic, but I've had no problem at all seeing the level of my e-liquid. Uh, side fill. I think I do is just open the little rubber bung and fill it up from the side. The actual filling port is just big enough. I've had no airlocks or anything like that, but it's only just big enough. So I can't complain about it like I normally do. Once you've filled it up, leave it for at least 5 to 10 minutes. More to the 10 minute sort of side to make sure that it is saturated. Now, the coil itself is an inbuilt coil. So you can't change your coils. Once this uh, coil burns out, you've got to throw the whole pod away and replace it. Now, the coil itself is a 1.2 ohm mesh coil, uh, and this is really good. The, the coil itself is called the E-Chip Flavor Master Coil. Yes, it sounds like something you'd get in the Thunderdome. <laughs> Master Blaster is going to be facing the E-Chip Flavor Master Coil. <laughs> also, they're saying that the cotton is from the Golden cultivation zone yes we'll talk about that a little bit later on because i can't pronounce it 600 times <laughs> but that's where it is from the cotton so the the bottom of it you can see is the magnet you've got your contact port so now that fits into the device very very simple just line it up push it in you'll know that it is actually put in properly because you've got that little indicator there and it will flash also, you can see there isn't a button, so it is actually draw activated. If you have a little look at the top, you'll be able to see where the contacts are. And like I said, that just fits in like that. Now, what they're saying as well is, is once you've had a little bit of a vape and you put it back in your pocket, what you can do is just turn it around and slip it in like that. I think that's really, really good. So you're not going to get any dust. The only thing I've found with it, it does feel a little bit like it could fall out. There is magnets there, as you can see, it'll catch it. 
but it's not as strong as when you put it into there. We will do the lob test, but I have done it and it hasn't come out on me. Watch it do it when we go a bit when we go back up on top, but it hasn't come out. That fits in nice and snugly. Now the device itself is made out of aerospace aluminium. Yes, we're going space age. Um, it's also got an ionized finish to it, and it isn't a fingerprint magnet. It does fit really nice in your hand, nice and ergonomical, and it does feel nice and smooth. It's got a right nice feel to it. It is a type C charging, roughly takes about, I'd say about 40 minutes to fully charge, 40 minutes to an hour to fully charge, and it is a 400 mAh built-in battery, and it does last the day. You've got a little bit of branding there, tells you it is the Upox. Kite mark, don't vape in a bin. All in all, I do like the design. It's nice and cute, fits in your hand nicely, ergonomical, like I said. For a pod system, it is pretty good looking. So that was an up close of the Up Ox from Up Ends. And I did tell you there would be a lot of ups in this review. Now let's go top to bottom like we normally do. We'll start off with the pod itself. Now, like I explained on the download, that this kit, you can get it in two. So you can either get it in a, a, a kit that comes with one pod or a kit that comes with two pods. Now, this is something that Upends maybe needs to have a little look at. And please tell me what you think down in the comments. Me personally don't think you should do it with just one pod. It's like getting a sub -own tank with just one coil. Now, if somebody's coming off of them stinkies and they've picked this device to do it with... And they're not quite sure what they're doing, so they fill it up and then maybe after a couple of minutes they take a draw on it and it burns that coil out or burns that pod out. That means the, the device is no good to them and they've got to go and source another pod. At least give them two pods in the kit. Get rid of where you're just having one pod in the kit. Get two pods in there. That gives them a good chance. And it also gives them a good chance if they're changing the e-liquid. And it gives them a chance of getting off them stinkies. We will leave that totally there now. Please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. The pod itself is a 2mm pod. It is that dark and plastic, but I've had no problem at all seeing the level of my e-liquid. It is a side fill. It's just big enough. I haven't had any airlocks or anything like that. If it were a touch a bit smaller, I think you would have got some airlocks. But I've had no airlocks or any problem with leaking. Now the coil, I love the name of this coil. It is the ET Chip Flavor Master Coil. Yes, you can't get a better name for that. It is a 1.2 ohm mesh coil. Now the cotton as well, the cotton on this. Now I'm going to stick this up so you can have a little look. I will probably read this like a five-year-old. The cotton used for the Upox co coils uh, comes from the snow-covered land at the foot of the stunning Tassan Mountains known as the 41N Golden Cultivation Zone. It has the perfect balance of fibre density and liquid absorption. I probably said that wrong. What's more, it is pesticide-free, has no impurities and no natural oils. The only thing you will taste is your favourite e-liquid. Yes. That sounds good. I've never heard of that place or about it at all. If you have again, let me know down in the comments. Now, what about the flavour? What about the clouds? Now, I'm going to tell you off the bat, I am very, very surprised at this. This has got really good flavour. And not bad clouds to boot either. Really good flavour off of it. Like I said... It's got an inbuilt 400 mAh battery, Type-C charging as well. Roughly taking me 40 to, to 40 minutes to an hour to charge it fully. But you are getting a full day out of it. But I was so surprised with the flavour. You all know if you watch my reviews regularly how I use them. I use pod systems for when I'm editing and when I go to bed. Really, really good. Now, the marketing this as not cheap, but it's going to be um, sort of like the budget end of it. And I think that may be the reason why they're putting uh, only one coil in there. But it's made out of aerospace aluminium with an iron dyed uh, finish to it. It does feel really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. And like I said, the coil itself is performing really, really well. Really good flavour. I really do like the look of it. We'll just stick above my shoulder. I don't. It'll be that shoulder. No, it won't. It'll be that shoulder. It'll be one of them shoulders. The different colours you can actually get in this. I know people are getting fed up of pod systems, but they are out there, as we all know. And they do help people get off the stinkies. And they have got other other um, uses as well. So if you want something to stick in the car, something to take to the pub, something to take to the shop... Them sort of things are just at work where you're on your vape break just to put in your pocket. These do have a place instead of taking a ginormous mod with you 
you can put these in your pocket. And if it's at the right price, it is well worth it. Like I said, the flavour that you're getting from this, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah, all in all, I quite like it. As pod systems go, it's, it's not got all the, the things that you're going to get off of a mod, but it's there for a reason. And like I said, I know a lot of people are getting fed up of pod systems, but this is one of the better pod systems that I've used over the last year. So yeah, big thumbs up. Big thumbs up to up ends as well. Told you loads of ups for sending this out for review. This has been another review by Little Bro. If you've liked the review, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe buttons in the corner. Give it a little press and get me to that new magic number. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go and hit me up, people. And there's one last thing to say. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.